and welcome to another episode of Historically Marked. I am Jason. I am in the heart of downtown Belleville, Illinois, and I'm about to show you a great outdoor exhibit which highlights a lot of notable Belleville people from past to present. So Belleville is the county seat of St. Clair County, and it is the largest city in southern Illinois, indeed, by population, at least south of Springfield, Decatur, and Champaign, and some of the towns south of I-72, but uh, anywho, um, Belleville has put out a lot of historical markers, and in the last few years, they put out a bunch of sidewalk plaques in front of their um, offices, like their county offices. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the cool things that lie, literally, on the sidewalks, so come with me. As of today, October 11th, 2020, there are at least 12 people, actually there are 12 people who have been enshrined, actually technically 13 because there is a husband and wife enshrined on the same plaque, but um, these are people from all walks of life, men and women, women's rights activists, a former professional golf player, a TV star, and many more. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one by one starting from the left. Okay, so a little background. Um, over the years, starting in 2014, which was the bicentennial of Belleville, Illinois, that's, that's when they started doing it. And to me, I think it's a great, wonderful idea. And um, if they're gonna continue doing this, obviously they're gonna have to put some more plaques because there's only room for, I guess, two, three, or four. <laughs> but enough on that. As a, as a matter of fact, yesterday, um, they actually dedicated two of them, and I will show you those two, which are part of this exhibit. All right, starting with this guy who was literally inducted yesterday, Theodore Erasmus Hilgard, a democracy advocate, West Belleville developer. Now keep in mind, there are two parts of Belleville, and there's a lot of neighborhoods, but there's Belleville West, Belleville East, and Belleville West is like, this is actually literally the dividing line for Highway 159. And this is a women's suffrage activist, Carrie Thomas Alexander Bavenberg. Here's Edward Daly. He's a man of many achievements. He is responsible for Scott Field and Scott Air Force Base. This is the only one that is still alive of today, Bob Golby. And he, uh, let's see, doing the math, he'd be, yeah, 90 years old, or 91, depending on what day he was born. But <laughs> he did show up to his ceremony. And here is a gentleman I did a video on previously, Ninian Edwards who Edwards Trail in Edwardsville, Illinois, got their namesake. This here is just the plaque that highlights that. Going down a little bit is George Blair, the founder of Belleville. He was one of um, inaugural, inaugural inductees here. Started out as a county sheriff and laid out the plans and town of Belleville, which is now, of course, a city. And on the bottom of the plaque, it'll, you'll see that Belleville literally translates to beautiful city. Gustavus Corner and so Sophia Engelman Corner. And Julius Lease. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. He was one of the masters of the local arts here. And arguably, this is probably the most famous of all of them, Christian Buddy Ebsen, who most of us know, who loves old-time TV. He was <laughs> Jed Clampett. And also, I'm surprised that not a lot of these plaques or, um, well, he, see, he's also, see, Buddy Epson is also inducted on the St. Louis Walk of Fame. He is also famous for turning down the role of this, um, the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz. Like, he was allergic to the major makeup. But still, he lived a great life. Here is Lyman Trumbull.
Now we're down to the last two. Les Mueller, who is a Major League Baseball pitcher, spent his career with the Detroit Tigers. And of course, in his later years, he resided here and at home, and he was involved in local politics, being a city alderman. And last but not least, this was a woman who was inducted yesterday posthumously. She passed away more than 25 years ago, but her legacy still lives on here in Belleville. She was involved locally. She was elected treasurer of the Casket Manufacturers Association of America. Wow, I did not know such thing existed. <laughs> she was both a founder of the Belleville chapter of the St. Clair County League of Women Voters in 1943, and she was also a member of the local um, Board of Education. Wow. So here it is. Here's a little wide view of it. These are the city and county buildings in front of me, or what they call the St. Clair County Annex. Right over there are some law offices, and that, of course, is a fountain. Behind that is the War Memorial and Veterans Memorial. And that, of course, is the St. Clair County building. That was once the spot of the old courthouse back in the day. <laughs> and that over there is West Belleville. So apparently every other year, or every two years, I should say, they induct at least two new members, men and women. Like I said, yesterday, October 11th, or October 10th, they inducted two new ones. So two years from now, I can't wait to see who they induct next. I'm sure there are some great people in the running to do this, so. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Historically Marked. I am in downtown Belleville, just literally standing on the Walk of Fame. All right, happy travels. Signing off.